Okay, well, thank you very much for being here. It's very, this is my weekly session in how I can communicate in a very fast way in a lightning talk. And, and now, I, inspired from something that happened last week uh, here in the, in the dojo, I, I want to explore elements that are necessarily for entrepreneurs when they are deciding to be an entrepreneur. It's, everybody, we talk about programs that are very heavy, very well done in how to learn to be an entrepreneur. But in some way, one of the things I ask to the chat GPT using Notion uh, uh, intellig uh, artificial intelligence version, and I say, okay, in which way I, I can know what are the five necessary elements, and it says discipline, adaptability, resilience, passion, vision, are the five points that were described there. I am not necessarily agree with them, because in a work that was done by Natalie the last week, that is very, very imp impressive, it, she took 32 uh, applications from Y Combinator and analyzed what are the profile that you find in that uh, applications. The, the, I recommend to, to read the article, it's a very deep uh, article. And from there, I try to explore what we can add to programs like the uh, YC Combinator uh, School that provide value to the startups. In, the, in that way, one of the things is, why you want to be an entrepreneur? How many of us really we think about that and analyze what is our purpose and what is our interest to be an entrepreneur and the people and share that with the people? That's something that never appears in the uh, in the request from the in the request from any accelerator or when you are looking for investor, that's not the kind of questions that the people ask you. And I, I think that we should be starting from the, from the beginning. What is the discipline of the entrepreneur? Uh, uh, Sako and, and I, we have a long discussion uh, today and was fantastic in that sense because discipline, that was one of the things that ChatGPT put in the first uh, question, say, I, in my point of view is how many of you really has a discipline necessarily to be a good entrepreneur. How much of you know how to develop, dedicate time to build a startup? How many of you are good to do documentation? That's something uh, that I, I learned that everybody we hate to be writing. It's something that we don't like it. When we say how you, we create OKRs or KPIs, it's, it's one of the things that is not natural. And, in my point of view, an entrepreneur needs to have that very clear to be done. And how good are, are us to review results? And when they say I, us, when you are an entrepreneur, you need to take in consideration that you are the boss and you are the person doing the things. For that sense, reviewing information is very important for you and what are the results. From the point of view, ideas. I have the question and I posted it in internet and I didn't get into the full details and I really was expecting. What is first, a good idea or a good uh, uh, way to make it that happens, having the audience? In that sense, what do you know? That's important. Is everybody, when they try to be an entrepreneur, is very seldom times you jump outside of the knowledge. And that in the uh, in the report that Natalie wrote, say most of the times the people are accepted in that accelerators when you are in your field of exp uh, expertise. And if you are good, is because you can really tackle the most challenging problems. And in some way, usually the best entrepreneurs are the ones that try to solve a problem they have in themselves. And that is a dream to be solved. The metrics. You, I found that there is two kind of metrics uh, or measurements that you, you uh, find about that from the point of view of business oriented or from the point of view of social oriented. How you manage that, sales and profits or impact on number of people impacted, awareness, education in the social environment. And one of the points that I really like it is at the, at the end of each, in, in this activity is something that we need to find, you apply, to an accelerator, you are accepted or rejected, <clears throat> what did you learn? How many of you really take the time to see what I was doing right, what I was doing wrong, and 
how I can, I can improve for the next time. Because one of the things that we found in common is all the people that applies to, to all accelerators, they don't do that one time. They do multiple times. Thank you very much. All right, any questions on the floor for Jorge? All right, thanks, Jorge. Uh, uh, oh, sorry, we got Saco. It's about discipline. <laughs> yes, actually, I forget to ask you, uh, what you can do in early stage that you don't fall to the mistake in later stage because you may be too busy, maybe you have more time in the beginning, so what would, you would be your advice? Well, the, the, these points I really recommend before you get into that involvement uh, as an entrepreneur. And we never have time to do things. And that is one of the points that I say when I, say, uh, when I point into how you assign time to execute or to analyze or to take decisions in a given moment. That is one of the disciplines that for me has been very important. At the beginning I would say, oh, that's very easy, I can do that in a week. And you find out that you need to take three months to do that. You don't have the enough uh, knowledge to, to perform in the right time. And having the discipline to uh, assign things to be done as an entrepreneur, because a lot of us, we, we are doing other things. We, we need to live, we need to work in other places, and we assign a part of our time to be an entrepreneur. And later, when we jump to be a full-time entrepreneur, it's much harder because we, we need to, to find how to manage all, all our time. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>